just happened. I'm very excited, I'm on my way to Arizona uh, for the Center Force Adventure Run 2022. I did the last year and it was fun. And this time, I'm also bringing the JK, which is the manual transmission with a Center Force clutch. It'll be fun. Adventure Run. Um, it's been it's an annual event that Center Force Clutches uh, organize, and they will take us um, by invitation to certain trails in Arizona near their uh, their uh, Prescott Prescott headquarters. And I've been through beautiful, beautiful, beautiful trails up in Arizona with them. Um, I can't wait to get there. And I, I'm looking forward for, for this week. It's gonna be super fun. It sure is nice to go back out uh, in the in the JK. The thing is, it's awesome. It, it's, it's got 153,000 miles, but it runs super smooth. Everything is perfect. I like this Jeep a lot. Traveling from my place in East San Diego to Arizona through the wonderful Sonoran Desert, the amazing glamis sand dunes, and the extensive crop fields in Imperial County makes the seven hour trip entertaining and interesting. I made it to the town that is gonna take me to where we're supposed to meet, where we're gonna spend uh, the night. Grand Canyon, down down there where the um, where the river is. I think we're gonna be camping at the beach, so that'll be pretty pretty cool. In Arizona, there's a lot of old stuff like this. You have any idea what this is? I will. I promise I will find out and let you know. The Diamond Creek Road will take you all the way down to the Colorado River, where you can camp in one of the designated camping spots next to the river. The road is owned by the Wallapai Indian Reservation, and a permit is required to access this trail. And you can buy one at the Wallapai Lodge in Peach Springs. The road is a wide, easy gravel route with stunning scenery and majestic peaks along the way. Finally made it to camp. With a little light of day, enough to have a quick dinner and to set up my tent. This time a ground tent and a cot. Pretty comfortable if you ask me. Weather will bring a cool night, but the zero degree sleeping bag from Nemo and the down quill from Vector Offroad will keep me comfy tonight. Good morning, y'all. This is the first day of the Center Force Adventure Run 2022. And we're right here, the bottom of the Grand Canyon. Such a beautiful place.
cannot get better than this guys we're camping right on the beach of the Grand Canyon it's so awesome last night was amazing we had some rain but it was beautiful the weather is great and I'm super excited to be here the Diamond Creek campground is situated on a beach by the Colorado River there are several campsites that can be used for a fee here is where the adventure begins. All participants are here and ready to explore the awesome areas that Trent McGee from Center Force has planned for us. American Adventure Lab got here last night. And everybody's having some coffee there. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Marco. Last year, my good buddy Sean Holman participated in his awesome manual transmission supercharged JL, and he's back this year. It's always a pleasure to see him. I just impressed myself how, how, I can, how much stuff I can get in this little clown car. My friend Vern Simons. This guy always brings the most rad classic Jeeps. This time, an awesome CJ5. Our leader and friend, Trent McGee. This is his amazing 1964 Scout build, powered by a Cummins 2.8 diesel engine with a Tremec TR4050 transmission. Pretty awesome. This rad Toyota 4Runner with an awesome King suspension belongs to Bobby Summers, fabricator for Summit 4x4. And our friend Nate from the YouTube channel Dirt Lifestyle is joining us from Washington with his family in his diesel gladiator on 37s. Doug Fletcher from Falcon Tires in his JKU getting ready to start the adventure. Our friend Jeff and his XJ. And last but not least, Blair Anglin, the Center Force plant manager and one of the organizers of this event. The Can Media crew getting their gear ready. I can't wait for the footage, guys. I try to make myself a coffee, but I forgot to use the filter. Good thing that Jeff and Blair were there to save the day. After a good cup of coffee and a quick breakfast, we gather on the shore of the river for the obligated driver's meeting. And we're going to end up in Prescott, Arizona at the Center Force factory. So this is the start of the 2022 Center Force Adventure Run. Uh, we're getting out of the uh, Grand Canyon uh, where we camped last night. Temperature here, it's 60 degrees. It's beautiful, it's sunny. Um, even though we had rain last night, uh, right now it's sunny and it's, it's, you know, the skies are clear. 60 degrees, it's perfect weather. We are on the Wallapai Hilltop Road, which is uh, part of the uh, Route 66 on our way to our next uh, camping location. But we're gonna visit a couple of, uh, I believe they're caves or something like that. Uh, that should be fun. The Grand Canyon Caverns are located just a few miles east of Peach Springs. They are one of the largest dry caverns in the United States. Out of all the caverns in the world, only 3% are dry. And this is one of the largest. This place was discovered in 1927 and you come down here in an elevator and it's 210 feet uh, below the surface. This cavern is over 2400 feet long. There are ceilings that are over 100 feet high 
and there's even a hotel room that you can make a reservation for a thousand dollars a night inside the cavern. No cable, no satellite, no Wi-Fi, which means there's no Netflix down here. We provide you with a TV and a DVD player and a hand. This was absolutely a neat experience. I'm definitely coming back with the family. just happened. Uh, for some reason the drone got disconnected from the uh, controller and the drone ended up uh, hitting one of the jeeps behind me. The drone is toast. It's gone. But I got the footage so things happen and well there's nothing I can do about it. The trail got so muddy I can't believe it. It's just, it's just heavy mud, and it's slippery, it's sticky. It's fun. So after all this mud, we encounter this obstacle. Dead tree, in the middle of the trail. But Trent is going to be using his worn Xeon 10. Cool. One more. One more. Oh. Camp Chef. He's ready to make his food. We just need to get him there. It's... Oh, so I'm just, I'm <laughs> if ready. Hungry, that's on us. You know, he brought his tools. We are back in business, back in our vehicles to continue the adventure on our way to the happy trail, where we will find a camping spot for the night, we will have a good meal, and prepare for tomorrow's leg of the trip. Good morning, you all. Um, it was a chilly morning. We're in our second uh, night of camping here in Arizona. Uh, but it's a beautiful, beautiful spot. We're up high. We're almost 7,000 feet, so it's it's a it's a bit cold. Um, last night we had um, some chipotle shrimp tacos for dinner, and somebody else, you know, they made their own their own dinner, and so we we, we gather around the the fire pit and and we had a blast. Let me show you camp this morning. It's beautiful. Deep. This is my tent setup today. I'm not. Uh, I don't have the uh, rooftop tent with me. I'm on a ground tent. It's really comfortable with a with an Aussie tent cot. cot. We got the early birds here. Blair. Good morning, Marco. And Jeff. Buddy. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Trying to stay warm. Oh, it's coffee, and there's always coffee ready for you. Anytime. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a cup. What are you the making? key to tortillas is you have to finish cooking them, otherwise they fall apart on you. Oh so, yeah. 
little breakfast burrito, a little salsa, eggs, bacon, and then the, also the keto overland cooking is I always like potatoes in my breakfast burritos. So I get the pre-packaged frozen bag that has the peppers, onion, garlic, and potatoes already in it. Then you don't have to season them, and the benefit of them being frozen is they help keep your cooler uh, frozen too. So it's a great way to have an epic breakfast burrito with very little prep. Love it. So we're back on the trail on the second day of the Center Force Adventure Run. And uh, we're heading down to a town called Baghdad, the largest copper mine in the world. We are back on the trail, and today is no different than yesterday. Actually, there is more mud today. But the weather, the views, the location and friends make this trip an amazing adventure. That was a pretty rough trail. It was a lot of rocks, a lot of mud, but it was fun. Very interesting, all the ranches there are in there. There are some uh, lumber companies. Uh, it was very interesting, um, but again, it was really, really muddy and really, really rocky. So we took longer than we were supposed to, and we're on our way to back that. So we made it to our camp location on our second day of the uh, Center Force Adventure Run. And we got to this awesome campsite, which is a large area, it's flat, and there's room, enough room for the 11 vehicles that are on this uh, adventure run. Of course, after a long day on the trail, a good meal will follow. To a nice menu, Asian chicken with vegetables and steamed rice. For veggies, I'm using Napa lettuce, onions, red bell pepper, and a little bit of garlic on the scottle. And we are back on the trail. We're gonna uh, follow this trail. I don't know where we're going. I know, all I know that tonight we're gonna be in uh, Prescott. We have come to the third and last day of this adventure. This open trail gave us the opportunity to push that gas pedal and have some more fun, but a little faster. And we made it to our final destination the Center Force Clutch headquarters in Prescott, Arizona. I hope you enjoyed this adventure. If you did, go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button, and thank you for watching.